he's a he's a work in progress. Obviously, he's growing, he's learning, um, and and I think he's going about it really, really well. He's always he's always seeking out knowledge, information, uh, not only from our analytical group, but from uh, Henry Blanco and the pitching coaches and. And I feel like he's getting better and better at calling games and understanding what our pitchers are trying to do, handling the staff um, offensively. I think he's growing there too. He's understanding that he's he's got to work counts and he's got to look for pitches and understand that just putting the ball in play is not good enough. You know, you have to be able to do the little things to keep the line moving in the offense. And I think he's getting better at that. Um, I, there's a lot of room for growth. Obviously, he's only 23 years old, so he's got a lot of room for growth and. You know, be an everyday big league catcher at 23 is pretty tough. Um, you know, so hopefully it continues down that path and, and he continues to show that growth. What type of work is done behind the scenes? Pull back the curtain a little bit for fans. For a catcher that is trying to get acclimated to attacking certain hitters on the other side and finding weaknesses there and matching them up with his pitcher's strengths, how does all that come together? Well, a lot of that has to do with our analytical department, getting them reports, uh, talking with the pitching coaches to understand, watching video. I mean, a lot of it ha is study. It's it's taking the time to uh, sit down and understand who the opponents are and what we're trying to do with them. And on honestly, it's playing against them. I mean, when we play against the Phillies 19 times, the Mets 19 times, the Braves 19, you're going to know these hitters better. You're going to understand their swings. The more he catches these pitchers, the more he understands what he can go to with these guys. Do we pitch to their strength or the hitter's weaknesses? I mean, he's got to understand when to do that. And uh, I think when he's preparing, part of that is what he thinks about is, you know, I got to do what's best for my pitcher, but does that match up with the hitters? So uh, it's a growing process, and, and I, I honestly think he's going to be really good at it. Bogey, the last two months of the season, you know, you guys aren't in the mix like you were in 19. You're not playing for the same thing. But there is a lot to play for, and there, are, there are, is a lot to be gained in these games. How do you broadly approach these last two months? What, what do you, you know, what do you look for? Well, obviously, I mean, our job is to win baseball games. Um, so, for, uh, you know, we want to win. That's the bottom line. But I think you, you have to win the little battles, the things that we've talked about up to this point. Um, you know, Louie getting a little bit better, uh, you know, Ruiz catching a little bit better, the, the pitchers coming out and, and pitching and, and uh, being able to follow a game plan a little bit better and win the little battles as we go through the days and hopefully those little battles end up to win in a war, uh, you know, more often. Um, I think if we focus on just getting these guys to be better every day, be more consistent every day, we're going to see the end result of wins. But if we if we you know we don't understand that and we don't we're not sympathetic to that I think it's gonna it, it, it makes for long days for the players it makes long days for the coaches and, and the fans too watch watching it um, I just want them to understand that these guys are giving everything they got and they're learning and they're trying they're playing against really good players too yeah. so th that competition makes them get better so I think the more they get out there the more that we do this the better they're gonna be. Last question for you, Bogey, is on a starting pitcher. We've talked about a few position players. Josiah Gray, we've seen some really good from him this year. We've also seen home runs. We've seen pitch count get up there at times. You know, what's the next step for him? Where does Josiah need to kind of tune things up a little bit to become the best version of himself? Well, I think I think this year's been really good for Josiah and the fact that, it, you know, he's been healthy the whole year. He's pitched this whole year. He's thrown... I'm not sure exactly how many innings is, but it's quite a few, almost up to what he's ever done before. Uh, experience, it, it, it's huge. I think he's going to be able to take that and reflect in the offseason about how he did, um, break down his mechanics and see if he can do anything a little bit better, uh, pitch usage, how, how he can minimize pitches so that he can get pit, uh, hitters out quicker. I think that's a big thing for him, and I think the more he, he can gather from what he's done this season and, and reflect on it, he's going to be able to apply that and even be better next year. Bogey, thanks for the time. Yeah, thanks for having me, Dan.